Hi, I'm Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. I'm going to show you a game today which uses playing cards and it's called Numbers Race. And it's a fun game for kids to play. It's a bit like a, uh, a two-player puzzle game where they have to run around and collect all their numbers. So it looks at counting on, uh, but also how to come up with strategies and think ahead as well with numbers. Okay, so to play Numbers Race, you need to take out all the jacks, queens, kings and jokers from the deck of cards just so you've got ace to ten and that's all and then you spread out the cards one two three four five along the side and eight across the top and bottom each player decides which suit they're going to flip over so let's say blue decides to flip over hearts and green decides to flip over spades next the players decide where to start from you have to start anywhere on the edge and you're not allowed to start on the suit that you're going to flip over. So blue's going to flip over hearts and blue's going to start from the three and I'll tell you why in a minute. Green's going to flip over spades and they decide to start from the five of diamonds just there. Now for a player to have their turn they can move along any cards either crossways or up and down but they're not allowed to move diagonally they can only move horizontally or vertically all right blue's going to start now you move the number of spaces as the number on the card that you're sitting on so blue's sitting on a three they can move three spaces now blue also wants to flip over hearts so this blue is going to move one two three and land on the six of hearts. Because hearts is blue's suit, blue can flip over this card and go back on top of it. Now green has started on a five, so they can move five spaces. Now I've had a look around and I can move, or green can move, one, two, three, four, five, and land on a six of spades there, and then they flip that card over. Now it's Blue's turn again. Because they landed on a six, they can move six spaces. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and landed on a five. Flip the five over. Green also landed on a six, so they can move another six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And flipping over the ace. Now, the rules of the game. <clears throat> Players are not allowed to land on cards that have already been flipped over. So, this blue person, or the blue player, who landed on five before, can't go one, two, three, four, five. All right, they have to move around the card, so they might go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Now for a bit of strategy in the game, players need to think about which cards they are going to land on. For example, green can only move one space, and green wants to land on spades. Now if green moves one space to the two, on their next turn, one, two, one, two, there's nowhere they can land which has a spade. So one, two, one, two, yeah, there's no spades around. So what they're better off doing is landing on the 7. Because then on their next turn they can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and land on that 5 over there. So a player can get a really good run if they work out what cards they can land on so they can land on a lot of their own cards in a row. To be able to flip a lot of their own cards over in a row without having to land on suits that they can't flip over. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy playing Numbers Race. Uh, if you want to make the game a bit more challenging or different, you can also use um, set out the game board in different shapes or maybe even put two decks of cards together and play with three or four players. So I think, and see how you go with that. Now I've also got an ebook which you can download at the moment. It's got printable math games for grades five and six, and it's to help enhance their conceptual understanding of 
addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and help with their strategies and mathematical reasoning as well. So if you're interested and you'd like to download that, you can follow the link below this video. It'll take you to a screen where you can put your email in and the ebook will be sent straight to your email. Thank you.